Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success, an online free educational institute. So we are continuing with the ComSol series and today we will be discussing on how to model a non newtonian flow in ComSol multiphysics. So before going into the detailed discussion, let me tell you something about myself. I am Shishan Mitu, a research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. And those are my email IDs. If you have any queries, you can write me email and I always reply to your emails. So before starting, let me tell you one more thing. We are looking for collaborators, basically the people who can teach C programming, Java programming, say Fortran, MATLAB and other programming languages and also some research related simulation software like ANSYS and uh, molecular dynamic software like your material studio, LAMPS, etc. So if you are interested, you can join us and we'll do something together. So now let us proceed with the topic. So this model has been taken from Comsol website itself. If you search, you will be having this video. Actually, uh, this is uh, uploaded on Comsol website and I will put the link with the video so that you can have access to it. And I acknowledge Comsol Multiphysics for using their video. Okay, so let me tell you about the model briefly. So this is the geometry they have incorporated from somewhere and uh, what they did they did a simple modeling so laminar flow has been taken as a physics and then uh, what they did a simple inlet this is the inlet and inlet is kept at certain pressure say p in and p in is there in the parameter so here they have taken 10 kilopascal of pressure now let me show you the geometry dimension so they have taken millimeter range pipe, the width is 9 and the height is 21. So rectangle 1, rectangle 2. So the main thing what you need to understand is the size is in the range of millimeter. So material, they have not taken any material but they have defined the properties here I guess. So if we go to fluid property, you can see here they have directly given the properties so no need of material basically whenever you are modeling material means you are basically looking for the physical properties that will be needed for your calculation purpose so if you put directly the values of your the physical parameters then no need of taking material okay so i have shown you the inlet so this is the outlet outlet is kept at zero pressure that means atmospheric pressure because i always tell this is the gauge pressure and uh, the wall has been wall both the walls have been kept at no slip condition so those are the walls and the uh, axisymmetric model has been taken so this is the half part of the channel the another half would be here so if we solve for this half another half will be automatically done okay so now let us go to the main topic because this is not a newtonian fluid this is a non newtonian fluid so what modification we require for non newtonian one so now we go to the fluid property so what they did they have taken rho 450 kg per meter cube directly and here you have a drop down option in your viscosity so in viscosity if you click on the drop down menu you will have several options first option is from material so you can take the relation or the constant value directly from the material but we, we have not taken here next option is non newtonian power law if we click here so you can have this this kind of equation so they have taken it automatically what do i mean by that actually there are some inbuilt model if i choose this option from the drop down menu then automatically I am using this relation. Now what they did that they, they have used this particular model and this particular model is also saved in ComSol by default. So there is no actually there is no problem if you take from the available options but if your if your option is not here that means suppose you are modeling such a fluid the fluid is new you have researched and you have 
got some new material that is following some constitutive relation that constitution duty relation nowhere reported so you want to model for that then you have to define your own constitutive relation and for that you have another option that is user defined now in user defined basically you are defining your mu now you have the constitutive relation that means this part but what you have to put as an input is only mu I'll take you a simple example. Suppose you have just a minute. Yeah. Suppose you have a material that is following a relation. I'll show you here. Yeah. Suppose you have a material that is. Showing a constitutive relation like mu del u say del u del y to the power n. Sorry, I don't have any option to write. That's why I'm using paint. It's not good. But for understanding, you just look at this relation. Say this is mu del u del y to the power n. This relation say you need to put in console. Now you have option for putting mu only. So what we can do? We can do one thing. Basically, the for Newtonian one, the relation is mu del u del y. This is the simple relation. Now from here we can modify it. How we can write it like this? Mu del u say del y. Whole to the power n minus one into del u del y. You can write it like this one. Now that basically means you can take this thing as your effective mu or your viscosity. That means you can write it as mu dash multiplied by del u del y. Now, by this, what would happen? You are basically defining a new mu. That means based on your constitutive relation, but apparently you are putting Newtonian constitutive relation on you. So, by that way, you have to put it here. Suppose you have a constitutive relation. That constitutive relation you have to. Put in that form. That means mu dash multiplied by del u del y, and that mu dash you have to define it here. Okay. Now I'll show. I'll uh, tell you some more process. Suppose the relation which I have shown, I want to put here. So for that, uh, what can I do? I can put mu say into say d of U, comma, say y. What does it mean? D of u comma y means del u del y, and it would be whole to the power n minus one. Now one more thing you have to understand properly. When you change this, you have to forcefully put the unit as Pascal again. Otherwise, unit unit would not match. Because when we, whenever we are putting mu, they are looking for a value that would be equal to the value or the dimension of mu. Now, if you accordingly put it, that means this mu would be then your constant k. So what I mean to say, whatever I have shown here in paint, basically this is not mu. This is some other constant k. Okay, but anyway, this thing has to have a unit or dimension of viscosity coefficient. Otherwise, you cannot write it this way. So when you have to take care of the dimension, but now it is showing in yellow because I have not defined mu, I have not defined n. For that, what you can do, you can go to parameter and you can define your mu and your n. Now you have to define mu and n such a way that 
दिया सचिव है दैट दिस एंटायर मल्टीप्लीकेशन शुड हैव यूनिट ऑफ पास्कल सेकेंड एंड इट एंड इट वुड बी मेंटेन इफ यूर इफ यूर कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिव रिलेशन इज करेक्ट सो दे आर वाई यू कैन चेंज यूर न्यू एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन डू योर सिमुलेशन फॉर नॉन लिनियर फ्लूड ऑल्सो सो आई आई गेस आई हैव क्लियर द थिंग्स एंड इफ यू हैव मोर क्वारीज यू कैन राइट मी and i'll be happy to reply to your email and if you like my video please share it on social media so that i get more subscriptions and i can help you better thank you very much and one one thing more i'm looking for collaborators so if you have any if you have any wish to work in uh, and upload videos on youtube you can write me and we'll be happy to working together thank you very much